I discovered the best ChatGPT prompt to use with Leonardo AI. It's amazing. It's so easy that all you have to do is replace one keyword anytime you use it. And today I'll show you exactly how to use this awesome prompt. In fact, there's a link in my description for you to access this prompt. So you can use it anytime for yourself. Just copy and paste it and generate your own amazing AI art and replace my keyword with your keyword. It's that simple. Now in full disclosure, I discovered this prompt from a guy on the subreddit. And in fairness to him, the creator, I've also linked his channel in my description below. So stick around because you don't want to miss this prompt. The prompts I'm showing you today, in addition to many other prompts, I have available for you. So in my description, there's a link below. You can get access to these prompts in addition to all these other prompts you see on my screen. And so I'm always updating this weekly and I have everything from SEO to content creation and SEO strategy. Link in my description and you can click that link and get full access to all these prompts I'm always updating. Okay, so now let's go to the best prompt I've seen so far, the one I found on the subreddit. So the first thing we're gonna do is head on over to my Airtable base where I have this prompt the prompt we're going to use is the one that's called chat gpt leonardo ai i'm going to expand it and you could see it's going to be a large prompt i'm not going to read the whole thing but what we're going to do is just copy and paste this whole entire prompt because there is a lot involved but just rest assured that once you copy it chat gpt will know exactly what you mean and you can begin using it immediately so watch this let's go back over to chat gpt okay i copied that prompt now right here at the bottom let's go ahead and hit paste button and that's a large prompt that I added. Hit that send button and watch this. Immediately, ChatGPT says, sure, I'm ready. Please provide me with the keyword to generate prompts. So as I scroll back up on the ChatGPT, I'll just read a few. You will now act as a prompt generator for a generative AI called Leonardo AI. Leonardo AI generates images based on given prompts. What we're doing for ChatGPT is that we're just explaining exactly what we're looking for. So it has the basic information, art inspirations, descriptions, environment, all the way down to the camera shot type, the weight of a keyword, etc. And as you notice at the very bottom, it says, I will provide you with a keyword and you will generate three different types of prompts with lots of details as given in the prompt structure. So watch this. So then ChatGPT responds with, sure, I'm ready. Please provide me with the keyword to generate prompts. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm simply typing one word and that's lion. And then from there, ChatGPT does exactly what it's supposed to do. Here are the prompts. African lion standing on a rocky outcropping overlooking the savanna. Number two, digital illustration of a lion, lion cub, playfully pouncing on its mother's tail. Number three, a lion's head rendered in a hyper detailed abstract expression list. I'll copy and paste each of these prompts ChatGPT gave us, and then I'll paste them in Leonardo AI and watch this magic happen. Back on over to ChatGPT. Let's just go ahead and start with the last one, okay? Artistic image prompt structure. I'm copying this from ChatGPT. I'm using Leonardo Diffusion as the fine-tuned model. Paste it, hit generate, and watch the magic happen here. Now, check that out. That's pretty amazing. Let's try this again. Okay, now let's try this one. Let's try, let's just go ahead and try the first one. I'm copying and pasting that from ChatGPT. Heading back over to Leonardo AI, and now I'll hit generate on this one. Look how realistic this is. Now, African lion standing on a rocky outcropping overlooking the savanna. Photograph, realistic, wildlife photography, Canon, camera, close-up shop, rendered in high resolution. So check this out. Let's do the same thing. Let's go ahead and go back over to ChatGPT. Now watch this. Let's do the same thing. So now instead of lion, I'm just going to tell it futuristic city. All I had to do this time with ChatGPT is just say futuristic city. It remembered everything I said prior, and now it's giving me prompts for a futuristic city. Now, let's try this again. Let's go ahead and get the first one. I'll copy and paste this first one. Head right on back over to Leonardo AI, remove this lion one, and now paste this one. And let's go ahead and hit generate with this one. Look at that. Now keep in mind, if you don't like this one especially, you can change the type of model. So let's just go to a different type of model, and we could try something else. Let's just see what happens with Dream Shaper 3.2. Okay, look at that. So notice the difference. When I changed it from Leonardo Diffusion to Dream Shaper 3.2, same exact prompt, but I just changed the fine-tuned model. Look at the differences here. This is pretty awesome. Here's the first one, Futuristic City, and here's the second one, okay? Let's try something else again. Let's go back over to ChatGPT, and now let's try the copy and paste this one with the same Futuristic City keyword as the topic. This is the second one. I'll come back over here, and I'll hit Paste, and I'll stay with Dream Shaper 3.2 and hit Generate. 
and then let's see what this one can come up with. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. And so we can do the same thing with all of these different types of fine-tuned models. I'll go back to Leonardo Diffusion, but you could see that based off of the keyword, ChatGPT's description, and Leonardo's fine-tuned model selection, we can really come up with a wide variety of different type of looks for the same exact keyword. And now you could look at this one. So same description, same keyword, but just a different prompt from ChatGPT or a different fine-tuned model from Leonardo AI gives us what we're looking for, but each image has different characteristics. Let's now provide ChatGPT with this instead. So now I'm just saying lion logo. So it's pretty amazing how ChatGPT will continue to understand what you're looking for just by replacing the keyword. So I did lion logo. Now let's try this again. I'll go ahead with the second one. I'll copy the second one. Go back over to Leonardo AI, paste that, hit generate. Okay, now check that out. That's pretty amazing. That's a pretty good logo of a lion. Okay, let's try this one more time. Now let's do a futuristic robot. Back to Leonardo AI, paste it, and I'll select Leonardo Diffusion, hit generate. And now this time I'm asking for a photograph of a futuristic robot, photograph, realistic, science fiction, photography with a Canon EF 100 millimeter. Okay, now there's that robot there. Again, keep in mind that we can always change the different styles of fine-tuned model. So if I change it now to RPG 4.0, it's going to provide me with a similar type of photo, but now with a different fine-tuned model that might suit my needs even better. So notice how I have the same exact prompt, but I just chose two separate fine-tuned models, but I got two completely different styles of images here. That's one thing you definitely want to keep in mind. Keep in mind that it might not get it right the first time, second time, or third, but once you kind of move things around, keywords, or change your different fine-tuned model, you'll eventually get the perfect type of photo you're looking for. Because utilizing this prompt, all you have to do is just replace one keyword with another, change a different fine-tuned model, and then eventually it's going to get it just right. And again, all of the prompts I'm using and sharing with you guys today, that link is in my description as well, and you'll have access to all these prompts I'm trying out. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure you hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when videos like this come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Rise up, don't turn it back.